Okay guys, I've been getting requests to install OBS multi-platform and how to do the plugin for CLR browser for that. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. You're gonna need two things. You're gonna need this OBS multi-platform and you're gonna have to go to uh, OBS's website, click forum, click plugins, on, or underneath plugins right here on the forum. It'll say OBS multi-platform plugins, click that. Go to browser plugin, and you want to go down right. Let me see here. Actually, click go go right here. Click browser plugin, um, and it should be right here. Click Windows version like that, and it'll start downloading. So when this is done downloading, I want you to take that file, which will be look like this. You need WinRAR to open it, and when you have it in WinRAR, it looks like that when you open it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is install OBS. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna install that. Now, the big thing is that nobody understands about OBS is when it's done installing, this right here that you see on the desktop, this icon, this is 32-bit. This is automatically a 32-bit version and nobody understands that. So just get rid of that if you don't use 32-bit. If you use 64-bit, um just use 64 bit so to go i'm using windows 8.1 so i gotta go here and we're gonna go to the start menu and go to the obs folder which will be obs multi-platform and look for 64 bit there should be two there one of them is 32 bit one of them is 64 bit so take right click that and you can either uh, see i can't i don't know how to do it on desktop or on windows 8.1 so um i don't need this right now so i'm go not gonna open it I'm going to go here into this folder. I'm going to click C. I'm going to go to Program Files 86 and go down to OBS Studio. That's multi platform. Uh, you want to go to OBS Plugins in that folder. Click your bit version. It applies to 32 bit and 64 bit. So, whatever you're going to use here. So, now we're going to open this up. If you have 64 bit, I want you to take all this stuff here well I'm using 64 bits so I click into there into that folder highlight all these like that and just drag those suckers right into there now I'll show you you want to do it for 32 bit you just do the same exact thing it's not rocket science so here we go wait let me make sure I got it nope and this is 32 bit And now what we do is we go back to our start menu, if you didn't do so yet, and go to OBS multi-platform and click 64-bit, and right-click in sources, and browser source, that's the name of it. And there's your browser. You can throw uh, your Twitch alert here, any website, you could do pretty much anything with this. Um, you can make it a local file, It could, if you have some kind of image on your desktop, like a GIF, an animated GIF, or you know, you want to make some kind of cool background for like um, if you're talking on a mic, you know, and you have your chat box or something, and you want something moving in the background, you could always do that. You just click browse and go through your stuff. Um, pretty much, Twitch alerts is easy. It's just put the URL here, URL here, and uh, yeah, I usually set my frames per second to 60 right here. So that's that. See, as you can see, it works. It's pulling up the website. It's, working completely fine you drag this box out um, yeah there's not much I mean I could even go to 32 bit and show you that it works on 32 bit also so we're gonna do that right now there's 32 bit click right there browser source there's browser source so there you go 32 bit 64 bit it works and if it's not working for you I need you to go here and make sure your stuff is up to date let me see here if the CRL browser is not working you have to have let's see here here make sure this is updated um you have to go to this website it's under you're gonna have to go to plugins obs plugins 
um, CLR browser source plugin and click this CLR browser source plugin link. Make sure your MS Visual C++ is up to date, which is right here. Um, you're gonna click that link. Make sure this .NET installation is updated. You will click one of these two links, which I'd probably imagine would be this first one. And that's it. That's, these are the only two that you needed need to update. That's it. And make sure your Windows is up to date also. That's it. Um, after that, it should work. It should be perfectly fine. And yeah, so I'm sorry if this video is too long, and I hope this works for you guys. And if it does, let me know. And yeah, so have a good day, guys. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know. Let me know if you guys got it working. If this was help, helpful for you, if you want any more tutorials on something, let me know. See you guys.